making up too many tracks here. I got these two instrument tracks coming up. There they go. And I'm going to press my option key and make them the same size, which is going to be medium here. And now I'm going to go here into file and I'm going to open up or rather import MIDI. So we've got a MIDI session here. I'm going to pull up something here. And I'm going to go in this and then we're going to head to look for MIDI. I got some MIDI. Here's MIDI files right here. And we want to find, uh, here we go. Let's open this up. Human nature. And I've got instruments here, tracks already. So I don't want to create any new ones, right? So uh, destination. And I'll say MIDI tracks, brand new MIDI tracks. And clip list. No, I want to put in MIDI tracks that will start from the session start. And I want to import a tempo map. And I probably want to import a key signature from the MIDI file. And then I'm going to press OK. And so what happens here? We loaded in some MIDI information. This is kind of cool. But the cool part is we have this expandy 2 going on here. So I have an expandy 2 and we've got names of these um, parts already. So I want to go here and I want to load in an expandy 2 into this thing. So it's instrument track, but I want to go, let's see, right here. And I want to look at an insert. There we go. Here's an insert. I want to load an expandy 2. And here's instrument and expandy 2 right there. As it loads in, here it is right here. Cool. So I see got a melody here, so I'm going to sort of like pick out some sounds here. So expandy 2 is like this instrument where I can have four MIDI channels at once uh, running different instruments. So I'm going to pick some instruments right now. I'm going to go with uh, some sort of lead thing, I guess. Here's a soft lead. So we're going to look at some leads here. I don't know what to look at, but... Uh, We'll try and something we got here. Uh, lines. Oh, uh, looks like uh, this would be good. Clappy. And then we got what this next one's a bass line. So this is going to be two, right? See, that's MIDI. MIDI here, MIDI two. This will be MIDI three. And this will be MIDI four just for now. This is just a lesson asking how to use Expandy a little bit. And I imported a MIDI file in that we um, have several MIDI tracks to. And so it, that's the bass line. So I'm going to look here for a bass. And here are bases. And let's find a bass here. I'm going to get a list of, whoops, got to make them moving smooth. It's so hard to go right across here and get a, there you go. Hard fingered bass. I got a piano too. There's some acoustic piano coming up. Let's find a piano. Here's acoustic piano. And I go to the edge here and I'm going to get this edge piano. Sounds good. And then what's the next thing we got going on here? We got a wood block. No need for that. A muted guitar. Let's get a guitar. Let's find guitars here. I think there should be some guitars in here. There we go, guitars. And we're gonna go right across here. And we're looking for some sort of muted guitar sound. So I'm looking for muted guitars. I'm gonna find something real quick here. Here we go. Muted electric. That's good. And now, we, so we got one. So this is going to be here, right? That's just the, if I had a program, go for programs right there. So now I've got this selected. And what I need to do is I need to see something else. So I'm going to go here and we want to see the in and outputs. There we go. And we have in and outs now. And so this is the melody track. So here, I want to go to expand and check channel one. And then here, I want to go to expand and check channel 2, which is the bass. It says acoustic bass there. Let's close out the transport window. And here, we're going to go down here. We're going to go to 3, and then we're going to get uh, acoustic piano. Acoustic piano is 3. It's right here. And MIDI guitar would be next here. I'm not using the wood block right now. And that'd be 4. There we go. And so we want to maybe close this up. And we're using this one, two, three, four, the different colors here. I can take this MIDI guitar and bring it up to here. There you go. And we'll play it from the top. Human Nature by Michael Jackson, but we just bring in a MIDI file, 
uh, assign stuff to particular MIDI channels. And I can use more than one expandee. If I wanted to have like two or three of them, I could have that. And if I had four of them, I'd have 16 different MIDI tracks. And I'd have four MIDI channels on each one of them, if I had four of them. That's how you would do it. And so you can use expandee as a virtual instrument and have four, minutes, four instruments going on at the same time.